Okay, so welcome everybody. Uh, my name is David, and uh, the whole purpose of this meeting is to show students and parents what youth group is going to be like. Um, and so we are going to start off with a game. So where, where'd my wife go? She's hiding. She's doing... So, I'm trying to think of a joke that's appropriate. You got one? What do you got? What do you got? This is a Christian joke. Okay, why did the woman fall into the well? I don't know. She couldn't see that well. It's for my five-year-old. That's, that's cuter. <laughs> I was about to boo you, but then, you know, did you find music? It wasn't from your five-year-old? Did you, did you, oh, okay, that's pretty good. That's a good joke. Did she come up with that, or did someone teach her? Okay, so, all right, are you ready? Because I was going to make someone clean my toilet. Anyway, it's something our kids do, where they're like, shoot it, okay, all right. How do I do that? You do it. Oh, okay. Uh, lift, lift my hand. Put your finger inside my other hand. Wiggle it around. <laughs> Take it out. Close the lid. Thank you for cleaning my toilet. <laughs> they do that to us all the time. All right, here's Beth. <laughs> all right. Hey, my name is Beth. Um, I am definitely not as loud as David, as you can tell, because he had to... Thanks, Mason. You're the man. Okay, so um, first thing we have is I need six volunteers, two of which need to be adults. That means over the age of 18, uh, 19 plus, and you have a child. That makes you an adult in here. I guess there's some adults that don't have children, but that's okay. Um, okay, so I need volunteers. All right, I see Hannah, Caleb, Trish. Yeah, we got one team. Okay, moving on. John Rogers. Come on, John Rogers. I want you to get up here. You're the best. I just got a coffee. Seems, uh, Seems like a likely story. I don't have a name tag. Oh, so sad. Okay, I need one more adult. Um, but then, um, Abby? Okay. Oh, okay, we can do parents. Okay, we're going to switch parents, though. So, Trish, you're going to come over here. Wendy, you're going to go over here. That's right, Joe. You the man. Okay, so. Oh, I'm sorry. Mm -mm. We separate families. Competition. It is... Do or die. Okay, so we have a couple, we're doing like a minute to win it relay, we'll say. Okay, how this is going to work. First person is red cup stack. Your base, seven cups. Okay, second person, you're stacking apples because, you know, back to school, fall, it's fun. Um, third cup, this is, or third cup, <laughs> third task is going to be a little bit, this is like the hardest one, so I'm sorry, Abby and Hannah. Okay, what you're going to do, hold this in front of my mouth. <laughs> Come on, Abby, work with me. Okay, so you have to put these over your ears and some, hold on. This is harder than it looks. Here. Somebody on your team is going to be stacking Fruit Loops oh, on your pencil and you're going to eat them <laughs> off your pencil. I can't do it, that's why I'm not doing the minute to win it. Okay, I have some, okay, and then I have bonus points, because they're fun. Um, I was like Googling, not Googling, like YouTubing a bunch of like ragtime music. There's this guy, he's pretty awesome. I don't think we're gonna be able to go through, I think we'll have to go through more than one of his songs, but this, particular one that I chose, there's different songs within the song that he does in a ragtime piano instrumental. If you can name the songs, 
you get extra points. So we have this half of the room. You guys are on one team. It is your job to cheer them on and name the, what's it called? Songs. Thank you. <laughs> I mean, it's fine. I, it's fine. And this is the team. Same thing. You're going to name the songs. This is your job and to cheer them on because it's hard to be that person. Yes, it's a relay. Mm -hmm. Tag in. I should make you sit down. Yeah, let's sit down. Pyramid. Yes. Pyramid, apples, fruit loops. Okay, so Joe, you're going to be up here yourself. Trish and Abby sit in the front. Hannah and Caleb sit in the front. Yes, what's your question? Yeah. You can't hold the pencil. You have to hold it with the string. You have to stack apples. Does it have to be all singles? Yes. No, no, it's, it has to try. <laughs> no, this is the pyramid. This is the pyramid. This is the stack, a stack. I'm gonna try be, single because I'm mean. <laughs> It's a triangle. Triangle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, triangle, I don't know. Pyramid. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. All right. Huh? Seven is the base. Well, that's what I told, that's what it was told online. So if it's not right, it's not my fault. Just saying. <laughs> if you need more room, you can move things around. I'm just, just throwing that out there. Okay. You guys ready? On your mark. Get set. Go. Focus. Two. 
until the end of the song, whoever can get the most will get points. It's okay, you got this. Okay, what songs you got? No, no. Free, free. Okay, so wait, hold on. I got a prize because I'm cheap. <laughs> I mean, I'm genius. Okay. Um, okay, so the winners get the you know very um, hoarded free Scoopy meals coupons for a free scoop of ice cream. Where are my volunteer? There we are. Free scoop? Free scoop? Where's Wendy? I see her. Yeah, you did. And I have to say, like, their stuff's still standing. That's kind of cool. Yeah. Yeah, Hannah can stack apples like a boss. That was, that was amazing. Okay. So, uh, yeah, so we'll, we'll start every week with a game. Um, and then after that, uh, I will give some announcements so we don't have, well, this whole night is pretty much announcements, so we're, we're splitting it up a little bit. Um, so the, the main thing that I want you guys to hear first is when you sat down, there should be a like info card. Um, so I need uh, one family to fill out an info card for each of your kids, okay? Um, if you are the kid and your parents aren't here, you can, you can fill it out yourself. That's fine. So the reason why I need this is because um, I need uh, up-to-date contact information um, and uh, age. So that way I can place people in the correct small groups um, and also so I can give out information at a moment's notice. So like if something's canceled, um, I'll usually shoot out a text. Um, to everyone instead of email, so that's why I need that. And then uh, you'll be getting a weekly email from me with uh, updates and uh, the message notes each week and uh, the optional discussion questions that you can walk through with your student after youth group. So yeah, if you could be filling out that, if filling that out, that would be great. Um, and uh, after announcements, we do music. So I'm going to invite the music team back up here. Back up here. Up here? Back up here. You what? All right. Well, if we could just um, stand together um, so that we can just kind of show that honor and respect to God, that'd be great. All right. Before we get started, I'm just going to pray for us. Heavenly Father, we thank you for tonight. We thank you that you are good to us, Lord, that you um, uh, have brought these 
um, students here as well as the parents. God, we just pray for um, tonight as we can look forward and celebrate this upcoming year um, at Oasis. God, um, just pray that you're with us um, in this time. In your name, amen. Hope is built on nothing less than Jesus' blood and righteousness. I dare not trust the sweetest frame, but wholly trust in Jesus' name. Repeat that. My hope is built on nothing blood and righteousness I dare not trust the sweetest frame but wholly trust in Jesus name Christ alone cornerstone weak made strong in the Savior's love Within the veil, my anchor holds within the veil. Christ alone, cornerstone, weak made strong in the Savior's love. Through the storm, He is Lord. trumpet sound Oh may I then in him be found Just in his righteousness alone Faultless to stand before the throne Christ alone cornerstone weak may Savior's love through the storm. He is Lord, Lord of all. Christ alone, cornerstone, weak made strong in the Savior's love. stories of what they think you're like, but I've heard the tender whisper of love in the dead of night, and you tell me that you're pleased and that I'm never alone. You're a good, good father who you are, it's who you are, it's who you are, and I'm loved by you, it's who I am, it's who I am, it's who I am. I've 
mercy, many searching for answers, far and wide, but I know we're all searching for answers, only you provide, cause you know just what we need before we say a word. You're a good, good father. It's who you are. It's who you are. It's who you are. And I'm loved by you. It's who I am. It's who I am. It's who I am. You are perfect in all of your ways. You are perfect in all of your ways. You are perfect in all of your ways to us. You are perfect in all of your ways. You are perfect in all of your ways. You are perfect in all of your ways to I can hardly speak peace so unexplainable I can hardly think as you call me deeper still as you call me deeper still as you call me deeper still into love Love, you're a good, good father. It's who you are, it's who you are, it's who you are, and I'm loved by you. It's who I am, it's who I am, it's who I am. You're a good, good father. It's who you are, it's who you are. who I am. It's who I am. It's who I am. You guys can have a seat. Sorry, it's the awkward long walk. Yeah, we'll figure this out, this transition thing between stuff. But, okay, so uh, next up in youth group, what would normally happen is uh, we would receive a message from God's word, um, but not today. So instead, what I'm going to do for you guys is I'm just going to kind of explain what Oasis Youth Group is, okay? Okay. Um, so, uh, and, and our philosophy of youth groups. So, so we here at Jacobs Well, we believe that youth groups are a ministry of the church, uh, not their own little mini church, okay? We uh, do not exist separately from the church. We exist to help facilitate growth um, in you guys through the church, okay? Um, and to do that, we have two primary goals, okay? So we try to keep it pretty simple. Um, goal one is that we are looking to find relational intimacy, okay? So that's the first one. We want relational intimacy. And the second goal that we have in this youth group is to serve the kingdom, okay? We want to facilitate as many opportunities for your students to serve uh, through the church, okay? And so to start off, I just want to explain goal one a little bit. So uh, we believe that relational intimacy is really important, uh, that it's vital to our health as people. We believe that God created us to be in relationship. Um, and so primarily, we want relationship with God. We, we need relational intimacy with God. And so as a youth group for us to pursue that, we study God's word. Okay, so it's a huge emphasis in this youth group. Um, and this year, the book that we are going to be studying through is Ecclesiastes. Yay. 
So I'll be honest, I am afraid of this book. So it, I'm like super intimidated by Ecclesiastes, um, but I've been asked for a number of years if I could teach out of it, and I've resisted that for a number of years Int until this year. Um, we've been praying through it, and, and something that I, I'm seeing is that the, the last couple of years have been just kind of full of change and loss, um, and things that we find security in uh, are not very secure anymore, okay? And so because of that, we've decided to study through the book of Ecclesiastes because the author of this book is very honest about how difficult life can be. But at the same time, there is this constant and consistent underlying current from the author that he finds peace in the bigness of God, okay, and, and how absolutely enormous God is. Um, and so my hope through this book is that we can all have our hearts really just calmed down um, by God and, and his enormity during a very chaotic time or what I'm assuming is going to continue to be a very chaotic time. Um, now, so that's, that's Ecclesiastes. So we'll be studying through that book. Um, but beyond needing relational intimacy with God, uh, we also believe that we all need relational intimacy with some kind of mentor. Okay, so uh, we all need a Paul, right? Someone to mentor us. And uh, that is why, as a youth group, we have a ton of youth leaders. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and invite our youth leaders up here, and while they're coming up, I'm going to say a couple things about, you know, just why we do this. Um, there's this pattern in Scripture where older people uh, share their wisdom with younger people, okay? So all the students here, older, older, you're older, that's a, it's okay, you're all right, calm down, <laughs> not old, older. <laughs> um, yeah, and wise. Did you miss that? Yeah, yeah. So, um, you know, wise, not focused. <laughs> but anyway, so my encouragement to you guys is really, like, there's a ton of wisdom up here behind me, and I really want you guys to seek that out, okay? Um, these are uh, all people who want to share life with you. They want to answer your questions. Uh, they've probably gone through most or all of what you guys have and are going through. Um, so uh, yeah, so I'll, I'll leave it there. I'll start off. I'll introduce myself. Um, and then do you guys remember what you're saying? So, so it's name, fun fact, uh, your small group, which, which age group you're teaching, why you're a leader, or what you love about being a leader. Okay, get ready. Okay, so my name's David. Um, I am the youth director, and a uh, fun fact about me is that I'm Chinese. I don't know. That's why I, I'm half Chinese. Um, yep. So, uh, all right, so my group, I am going to be leading the eighth grade guys. Um, so you guys are mine, sorry, and mwaha. Um, and then uh, the reason why I have been doing this, I've been uh, in youth ministry for a long time. The reason why I do youth ministry is, uh, it's kind of the same answer every time, but I just think that this is a time where people go through a huge amount of growth. Um, so uh, the ages 6th grade through 12th grade, um, you grow physically, emotionally, and spiritually a lot. Um, and it's just a joy for me to be able to walk through that with you, to watch you guys grow up. Um, I say this a lot, but it's like, it's like you aren't my kids, but it's like you are my kids, okay? So it's really, it's really fun for me. So that is what I love about being a youth leader. Now I'm going to give it to the OG. Front. The what? The original, the original OG, OG. My name is Rondale. <laughs> um, fun fact. Um, I am named after a cheese company. People always ask, so there it is. My dad's out on a semi truck while I was hunting out west. Um, so, I didn't know that either. fun fact, huh. people didn't know, I guess. Um, I'm teaching, not teaching, but I'm helping lead the seventh and eighth grade girls. And um, I love leading youth. I think 
it's um, just really um, special to be walking alongside young women who um, are going through the ups and downs of both faith and life. Um, so that's um, probably my favorite part, just that um, kind of mentorship piece. I'm Beth, again. Um, uh, I forget. Is it up here? Okay, cool. Um, where is it? Okay, fun fact. It's not... Oh, okay. I got you. Okay, fun fact. Um, I throw knives for fun. That's a fun fact. I throw knives for fun. You said that was really intense. <laughs> um, small group, sixth grade girls. Why I'm a leader. Um, I, well, or like why do I love being, I love the discipleship part of being a youth leader. Um, I think there's a lot of um, I think I've shared this before, but uh, just growing up, I didn't really have a mentor. I didn't really have a youth group at all because I there was like two people that were my age at my church. So um, we didn't really have that. So I think just having someone that is maybe not your parent, um, but to come alongside the parent to kind of talk in, and speak into um, their life is awesome. So that's, I think it's very beneficial. I wish I had it. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm Kelly. Uh, fun fact is I can ride a unicycle, which I'm willing to compete with anybody in this room for that. Like, whoever can get further, I'll give them $5. Seriously. I have a unicycle at my house. We can... You'll... No, but we can see who can get. It's really hard. Um... <laughs> I get to lead freshman girls, which I am super pumped about. Um, why am I excited? Maybe might be the next question. Um, I loved high school, and it was also like one of the hardest times of my life. And um, unlike Beth, I had a super awesome mentor. And <laughs> but you still ended up so great. I had a great one in college. Okay. So. Um, but she was just so influential in my life. And I am just super pumped to um, be able to kind of, I call it Be Betsy, because that was her name. So Be Betsy for um, the youth now. So, yeah. I am Mary. Fun fact, I have been to 17 European countries. I am the leader for 10th, 11th, and 12th grade girls. I love the fact that we like journey with them. So like I've been with these girls, I think, is it my fourth year with you guys? You're stuck with me for year four. Okay. So I just love seeing the growth and I feel like you see so much fruit and I don't know, willingness to like let me like speak into their lives and support them and encourage them and pray with them. So I've just loved, yeah, being a youth leader. I don't know, nine years. Tenure, something like that. So, Hi, everyone. Uh, I'm Eric DeCorn, married to Mary. Um, my fun fact, while everyone else was sharing, I thought of a second one. So uh, first, <laughs> I got two. <laughs> uh, AI can solve a Rubik's Cube in less than a minute. Um, my fastest is 31 seconds, but it's been a couple years. So, and then this is kind of a challenge, but I think I still have the course record of disc golf out there, so I was hoping someone could challenge me to that. JoJo's shaking his, JoJo's shaking his head, so. Mine is eight, if you're wondering. Good luck. But, challenge accepted, so. Um, I will be leading the 9th, 10th, 11th, and 12th grade guys, so all high school. Uh, so, really excited, and a lot of what everyone else has already said, I just, this is my 10th year as a youth group leader. Uh, five years in Michigan at our old church, and then five, I think it's their fifth year here. Uh, but I just love, you know, like Mary said, following the students along, uh, but really just being a mentor, just kind of being someone else in their life that's there, present, available to listen, um, can disciple them if, you know, if they want, but just to see them grow in, in their spiritual walk and their faith. So uh, it's both fulfilling, but it's also uh, just rewarding to be able to give back and help support the students as they go through middle school and high school. Um, hi, my name is Jeremy. Uh, 
This will be my first year as a leader. Um, I will be leading the sixth grade boys. Um, uh, fun fact about me, I like, I enjoy woodworking um, and I'm pretty decent at it. <laughs> um, and let's see, um, I guess why I'm a leader or I, I enjoy serving and I enjoy helping people. So I'm hoping I can, this is a way I can do more of that. So. <laughs> uh, I'm Todd Wagner, uh, third year here. Uh, some fun facts, I won the uh, leader push-up contest last year. By a lot. Um, <laughs> <laughs> By double everyone and, else. <laughs> I also think that I was a youth group leader when Mary was in youth group. So... I'm old. <laughs> um, yeah, I just, I don't know. I like getting to know your kiddos and hanging out, and I get to kind of leech off the fun that they are. Cool. Very cool. Oh, this got loud. Okay. Um, yeah, thanks, guys. I, I appreciate you. We will soon. At some, not, not yet. Not yet. Okay. Sorry, I lost my place. Oh, yeah. Okay, so the uh, next thing uh, that we believe is really important to our health as people is uh, peer relationships. Okay, so we want intimacy with God, we want intimacy with some kind of mentor, and then we want intimacy with our peers. Okay, um, and to help facilitate that as a youth group, we do events. Okay, so also something on the seats that you got is the uh, fall events calendar. Um, but what you'll see on there is that we actually don't do that many events, okay? We have parents' night, which is this, okay? And then three events after that in the fall, okay? Now, the events are great. They are a blast. And uh, the reason why there's so many postcards are so that you can give them away um, if you want to invite someone to these events. But the other reason why we don't have a ton of events, or one of the reasons why we don't have a ton of events, um, is because we want to put a lot of the responsibility for building friendships on you guys, okay? Um, there's nothing quite like uh, having to go through the extremely awkward experience of finding a stranger, saying, hey, do you want to be friends? And then, you know, becoming friends. Okay, so this is, this is on you guys. I want you guys to do this. Um, it's hard work. It's really strange. I'll give you two stories for the times that this has happened in my life. So one of them, um, I was, I was uh, in the bathroom, and I was like, you know what? The next person that walks in here, I'm gonna, we're going to be friends. And so he walked in, and I sang him a song, uh, and then he finished the song with me, and the rest is history. Uh, I don't remember. How does she? How does she know from Enchant? How does she know from Enchanted? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It was not a manly song. So I, I like belted this out at him in the bathroom, and then and then he finished it. And he's actually coming to visit us this weekend. So we've been like really good friends since. Um, another story. So story number two. Um, <laughs> oh, someone that I met in college. He came up to me. He's like. Uh, he said my nickname, but anyway. so he's, he's like, David, I want to be your best friend. And this was the first time I'd ever met him. Um, and it was wonderful to hear. I was like, great, <laughs> let's do that. And yeah, we, and we have been. So like, like it can be super awkward. It's okay. I want you guys, if you've been here at this youth group for a long time, I want you to find someone new, welcome them into our youth group, become friends. Okay. If uh, you're new, I want you to do the work. Get plugged in, okay? Get involved, meet people, um, because uh, it's really worth it. It's worth it to build long-lasting relationships. Um, and again, you know, just as a pro tip, uh, we do youth group every Wednesday. Um, so if you want to meet new people, you know, you'll see them every week, okay? So just... 
you know, it's good advice. All right, so that is goal one of our youth group, of having relational intimacy. Goal two does not have nearly as long of an explanation. Um, It is to serve in God's kingdom, which we do through the local church, okay, because that is what God calls us to do. And so to help you guys grow your skills, um, what we do is we, we have created different student ministry teams, okay? Uh, and the reason why we have done this is because we want you to, to learn how to serve in different ways um, in a low-pressure environment, okay? So you don't need to be perfect to serve in these groups. Um, basically, we expect you guys to do what we call failing forward, Okay, um, which, which it basically means that things in this youth group are not perfect. Uh, things in this youth group are not professional. And that's good, okay, because our goal is to learn how we best serve. Our goal is not to be perfect, okay? Now, last year, we weren't able to do a lot of this because of COVID. Uh, we couldn't run a lot of the ministry teams. But this year, because this is so important to us as a youth group, we are making a really big push to get these ministry teams running again and actively serving. Okay, and so I'm going to go ahead and have the youth leaders that are leading a ministry team pop on up here again. Um, They're going to explain what their team is, what their team does, and then what their team needs. You guys have clipboards right there for signups, by the way. Um, Okay, and then just to explain a couple things about you know, our expectations for you guys within these teams. So if you guys call Oasis Youth Group, like your youth group home, okay, I am expecting you to be leading or serving in one of these teams, okay? That is my gentle threat, okay? So if you're not, I will harass you looking at you guys, Right there. Yeah. (laughs) All right. All right. Okay. Okay. So, um, yeah. So that's what we want. I'm expecting you guys, if you call this your home, to be serving or leading in a team. The reason why I'm bringing this up now as parents, I think this is a really awesome opportunity for you guys to talk with your students about what their gift sets are. Okay. Where do you see them thrive? What do you think they could do well in or, you know, just Uh, see a lot of fruit in their lives and other people's lives um, to help them figure out where they could serve, okay? Again, the leaders, we are a resource, okay? We want to help you, we want to help you find a place to serve, okay? Um, And that means either we figure out which team is a good fit for you or we make a new team that would be a better fit for you, okay? So these are not the only teams that we have to have. Um, now, like I said, this is a big deal for our youth group, uh, and we want to take this seriously. Uh, so we're, we're going to go ahead and introduce our teams and uh, just be thinking like, hey, that sounds like a cool place for me to serve. I want to do that. Or like, no, that's not for me. Or maybe you're like, no, that's not for me, but I should push myself, so I'm, I'm going to try it. Okay, so just be thinking. So I'll, I'll start again. So the two teams that I'm leading, I'm leading a design team. Um, which is based, right now it's basically media design. So as, as an example, they made this, the Ecclesiastes graphic that you guys saw before. Maybe we can throw it up there. There it is. So they made that. Okay, so this is one of the things the design team does. Um, other things that they can do, it's, it's really, you know, up to the team and, and what people's abilities are. Um, it, like, like they'll be doing photography things. Um, we always are trying to, like, uh, uh, make and design shirts, okay? So if that's something that you're interested in doing, or if you're like, hey, I want to design the building that we're in, right? Like, I want to make, it's the basement, not this room, but it, I want to make the, the basement feel really welcoming, um, and and glorify God that way. So that's the design team. Okay, so if you're interested in doing that, uh, come find me. Um, and then the other team that I'm leading, it's a brand new team, um, but I have high hopes for it. It's the games team. Okay, so uh, Beth, this is the last time that she's going to come up with... She can be a part of the games team if she wants. <laughs> but, but, but 
I want a team to be running this, okay? I want a team to be coming up with games that we can do every Wednesday, um, and then, like, be, someone can be the hype man for that, or woman, okay? So, so get people involved. Um, this is really big because it welcomes people in, it loosens everybody up, um, and, and so, yeah, I'm excited about what this team could be. So those are my two teams. If you're interested in either one of those, come talk to me. Um, so I'm going to be helping out with the hospitality slash used to be welcoming team. Um, so what we do um, is going to be kind of self-explanatory, but we're going to create a really welcoming, encouraging environment for new and old students to come into youth group every week. Um, so we have friendly face to say hi or sit next to new people, kind of seek out those people who maybe don't have friends yet or um, just want to expand their circle um, or just meet somebody new. Um, so we are going to kind of focus on that and I hear there's going to be snacks so if you like to make delicious treats that's going to be part of it. Um, so we have a student leader but we're looking for lots more people, um, as many people that want to because um, yeah welcoming new people um, is what we're here for and um, we want to introduce them to Jesus and make a great environment for that. Um, I hear we especially need a push for guys. Um, we have I guess last year was all women, all girls. Um, so if we could have some guys join in, we'll be having new guys show up. So we'll want some faces for them to connect with as well. All right. Uh, I get to, re to uh, lead the outreach team. And um, yeah, I think Ellie Young led it for a couple years. So big shoes to fill. Um, <laughs> but, but we can do it. Um, no, just think like acts of service. Um, just, just reaching out, like helping, helping the people out who, who are in our church, maybe not at youth group, but in our church, helping, um, our neighbors out, like helping people who aren't in our church out, um, doing service projects every once in a while, maybe on like a Saturday morning or whatever, but, um, just anything that, um, you guys can think of. This is a really actually creative team to be on because, um, you know, I don't know everybody who needs help, but you guys might. So, um, yeah, get involved. Okay. Um, the team that I am leading um, is the music team. Um, so I have a sign up from last year. I think I just kind of need like update, but I also would love to get more people on here. Um, currently, we do have a, a student leader, so um, hopefully we can get more names. And I want to just say this, too. If you're in middle school, like, it is okay. Like, you should try to be a part of these teams, too. Um, if you're nervous, you're like, for specifically this team, um, that you're like, I don't want to sing by myself. That's okay. We can get three of you up here in front of a mic like this. Nobody will know. And it'll be great. Or hear you. It's fine. No, but I'm serious. Just like we want to practice your skills. I know that there's a lot of you that can sing really well. I know that there's giftings that God has given you. If you are a drummer, I need you. I don't know who you are, but if you can drum, you can come talk to me. I need who, who yeah, for real? Come on, come on. <laughs> I really do. Even if it's just like a cajon, it'd be great. I just, I really need a beat because I just kind of go with the wind. <laughs> I don't know if you could tell that, but I just, Holy Spirit moves. Yeah. Okay. So um, I do need, um, yeah, some more people because our, a lot of our people graduated, so they're kind of gone. So we don't have much to lean off of. And I would love it for it to be student-led again. I don't want to be up here every week. I'd love to hear you guys. Um, I, love, I love hearing you guys praise God and, and just learn and um, be able to do that. And it's great to see that growth. And it's a useful tip or useful tool for those of you that have want to later on be part of a church um, music ministry. Okay? That's that. Uh, Mercy Ministry. So basically, uh, uh, Operation Christmas Child in the fall, like the second week of November, we do like an evening where we just hang out and we fill the shoe boxes, and then you guys can all bring different items. And 
then in the spring, well, winter time, we do the encouragement night, which is always like just a really fun evening. Um, everyone gets like a paper bag and we all write encouragement notes to each other. And it's just like a super sweet evening. So I have no leader. I am a solo team right now. So whoever wants to hang out with me can join my team. No, um, it's, I don't know, maybe we'll do more too with being Mercy Ministry, but that's just what we've done in the past. So totally open to new ideas and yeah, come see me. So I oversee the AV or audiovisual team, uh, currently led by Mason, who's in the back at the sound booth. Uh, Mason's, I think, this is his third year leading. And so what he and I would love to have is more students who are uh, willing to serve with uh, the slides, uh, sound. Um, Mason or others would be more than willing and happy to train you. Uh, and that's also a good opportunity where if you uh, really enjoy doing that, there, I'm sure in the future there would be opportunities to serve on a Sunday morning as well. Um, and I think with all of these groups, uh, it's certainly a, you know, it's a stepping stone. You can kind of get, uh, get your feet wet in different areas and whatever you really feel gifted in and called to do, then you can continue to do that more and uh, possibly up in um, larger capacities as well. Um, so yeah, we'd love to have um, more students uh, helping with either sound uh, or the PowerPoint. Uh, and then I'll just make a note too, the student leaders uh, are typically reserved for high school students. Uh, but, you know, there's, yeah, so anyone can be on a team and serving, um, but then also too, you know, there comes a time, I think, in, like with music, a number of people graduate or move on to um, school or work or college and work, and we need people to step up. And so I would just say, if you feel like the spirit is prompting you to join or lead one of these groups, too late, because you can't disobey the spirit, so you better say yes and sign up, so. <laughs> I should, I should have you convince people to do things all the time. So uh, that's, that's amazing. Um, yeah, so uh, it, we, we continue to talk about like needing a student leader um, and then needing people. So just to explain that a little bit for you guys. So each team is overseen by us, but we need a high schooler to lead each team. So you are effectively running the team, you're organizing it, you are talking to the other team members, uh, and we are here to support you, okay, um, and, and to help like build you up in those skills. Um, and then everyone can participate. So again, like middle schoolers, it's a great opportunity to learn something new, um, and uh, I can't remember, I think every, like almost everyone said it, but these are all things that you can do at church also, okay? The reason why we do this here at youth group um, is because there's zero pressure. Um, and uh, so you can learn, you can build your skills. Um, and so that way you can be serving in, in a big church also. Um, so yeah, uh, talk to us after if you are interested in one of the teams or if you're like, I want to, I don't know what team I'm interested in. Um, or if you're like, it would be really cool if this whatever blank team existed, um, talk to me, and, and we will make that happen. Okay? Does that make sense? Yeah. Yes. Can you sign up for more than one team? Yes. You can sign up for more than one team. Um, yeah, and if you are leading a team, you can participate in other teams. Okay? Um, I'm going to say that there, and I won't have anyone lead two teams um, because I want you guys to be functional in school and stuff like that also. Okay. Um, yeah, I know. Sorry. But uh, yeah. Any other thoughts? Okay. Okay. So that is student ministry teams. Um, that's all I got. Cool. That was the last thing. So uh, in youth group, what we do next is we'd break off into small groups. So after the message, uh, we would finish. Sorry. That's not all I got. I got one more thing. We close with a song, which we're going to do, um, and then we break off into small groups, and you take that time to pray and uh, just talk through questions with your leader about the message or life in general. But I'm going to bring the, the music team back up, and then we will close out and can...
you can stand. thank you for tonight. We thank you that we can um, just come and, and worship you um, as one body of believers, God. Um, just uh, pray again for this school year, this upcoming year, um, for all the students um, and families, and just help us navigate this, this time, God. Um, we just thank you and praise you that you are good to us. Um, in your name, amen. Okay, I remembered what I was trying to say before. So uh, if you have filled out the info card, if you could just bring them up and put them somewhere on the stage. Um, and if you have not filled out the info card, it's the white one, uh, please fill that out. I need that so I can know what group to put people in and have your current contact information. Um, yeah, so... That's what I got. Feel free to meet your leaders if you haven't yet. Um, and then uh, uh, talk to 
the, the student team leaders about what teams there are and which ones you're interested in uh, being in. Thanks.